All right, let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is to go and download Bluetooth Explorer. And this is part of the Xcode additional tools. And there are plenty of places that describe how to do this. I'll include one in the description. Once you have Bluetooth Explorer installed, go and open it. And I already have it opened here, but it's usually in your applications folder. When it opens, no windows appear. I already have the window that you'll be looking for, which is under tools and audio options. Once you have this audio options window open, focus is on the streaming options section. And we're looking at the device latency specifically. By default, it is set to 0.0, .0 because Bluetooth devices report to the operating system what latency they have. And part of the issue is that when these are linked together as a stereo pair, the Bluetooth device is not reporting a new latency value to the operating system. So Mac OS or Windows or any operating system doesn't know that suddenly there was a new latency. In the second video of this, I will explain why that is and go into more technical detail into how this Bluetooth mode functions. But for right now, we're just looking at the device latency. Its default value is 0.0. If you set it to 0, 0.0, and I go over here to just a, this is a YouTube content creator video. So I'm just gonna play a clip of that to show the latency that you might experience. This is being recorded through the external microphone. And so you'll be hearing the Bose speakers playing through the external microphone while you're watching this video clip. To be a YouTube creator, you need to have foundational knowledge of video production. Now, every creator has their own process based on- Okay. So you can see here the massive amount of latency that's occurring between her lips moving and what you hear on audio. So now we're gonna go and set the value to the value that I've been using for these Bose speakers. This may vary between different devices that you're using. For the Bose speakers, it seems to be about 600 milliseconds, but you can go higher than that if you want. It's just the higher you go, the more will delay the video playback. But the sweet spot for these Bose SoundLink micros seems to be about 600 milliseconds. So now I've set it to 0 0.6 and we're gonna go back and watch that same clip over again. I'm gonna back it up here. Be talking about how to jumpstart your video. To be a YouTube. And you can see that there is no latency whatsoever. The one side effect you will notice is that when you stop playback, the audio stream will continue for that same amount of time, about 600 milliseconds. There has been a latency introduced into the system on purpose in order for the Bluetooth speaker pair to catch up with the video stream. Now that everything is all synced together and the video stream knows to delay 600 milliseconds to wait for the speakers to catch up, everything should remain in sync no matter how long you watch. Anyways, I hope you found this helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.